Hi right, guys, Sol here from Tasty Records in Altrincham. A uh, brand new New Arrivals video. Been slamming brand new restock this week. We've got loads of great um, new arrivals, new releases, and the new restocks for the shop, which have, it's been pretty unbelievable how much we've been pouring into the shop this week. Uh, great to see. Uh, this video, though, is sponsored by Tasty Records uh, caps, now available on the website, uh, online store. Uh, we've been pretty persistent with the merchandise recently, and this is a really nice kind of embroidered logo hat. I'm taking one myself, of course, and uh, can't wait for summer, you know, because it's going to be a good uh, resource for when it gets a bit too hot out there. Um, anyway, here's some new arrivals for this week. Just got them right here. Got some albums, got some singles. I'll be able to show them all off. Uh, first off, this is Joji Smithereens. Uh, Joji known for being Filthy Frank on YouTube. Uh, made a come oh no, a comeback. He's always done kind of a bit of hip hop. And um, brand new album. Really cool, very, very popular as well. Uh, nice to see. Or, you know, unironically really good music. Alison Goldfrapp, um, first kind of solo venture for the Goldfrapp star. Um, the Love Invention, it's on purple vinyl. Was listening to some of the singles in the shop today. Really great stuff. Uh, again, really, really popular in the shop. Sold loads already. Uh, this was a really cool one. Tenth anniversary edition of um, Daft Punk Random Access Memory. Uh, nine unreleased outtakes, three LP with a poster. Really cool. So if you don't already have this, or if you have it already, I've been speaking to people in the shop who actually have this already, and they're like, "I gotta have it," you know, because it's um, it's got it's got the extra tracks on there. Gotta have it. Um, we've got over mono. This is some great kind of um, almost down tempo-y, techno-y beats. And I'm really looking forward to kind of cracking one of these open and listening to it all the way through because the tracks in this so far have been excellent. Again, really popular in the shop. This is our last copy, um, clear vinyl, so it should sound very, very nice. And yeah, if you want one, this is the last copy, you know, make sure you grab it. Uh, the Cult. This is uh, the, this is the sit though, so 1994 sixth self-titled album, The Cult. Um, we saw these when, when they came out on the list, we saw these. They're going for like two, three hundred pounds originals on Discogs, and this is the first reissue, I'm pretty sure, on vinyl. So, really great kind of collectible to have if you've missed out on it the first time and can't pay the ridiculous amounts. This is what reissues are for, you know, for people who can't get their hands on the originals. Um, BC Camplight, The Last Rotation of Earth, brand new album from Manchester band BC Camplight. Uh, been enjoying this as well recently, like enjoying some of these albums, uh, see the tracks of this album. Um, cream vinyl with a lyric sheet, really nice. Kind of like, again, soft indie, almost. Still good though, really great. Really enjoying that one. Um, we have Hidden Waters, Strange and Sublime Sounds of Rio de, de Janeiro. Uh, this is really cool, I think this is volume two? No, it's on Mr. Bongo though. And um, this is just kind of like almost Sambri tunes from uh, the 60s and 70s, I'm pretty sure. And loads of great kind of, pretty psyche to be honest, like and deep cuts. This is what you want if you're like a DJ. Pretty sure Jess has taken one of these home. And if you want, you know, some really cool exotic tunes to play over summer, uh, great album to have. Can't go wrong with Mr. Bongo as well. Like there's just some... Excellent reissues going out on that and um, deep cuts for sure. A few more here. Fred again and Brian Eno. Who would have thought uh, Fred again and Brian Eno would be doing a, an album together, let alone, yeah. Um, definitely Brian Eno in Flexed, this album. Uh, we listened to it today. And yeah, really like interesting for sure. I mean, it's definitely, you can hear both of their styles infusing on this album. Uh, I love the artwork as well. Apparently that's a photograph uh, Brian Eno took. And yeah, I wonder how they met, like, you know, secret life, not not um, actual life, secret life. Again, secret there, secret relationship, I guess. Um, really cool. Again, these only got announced, like, last Thursday, and we've got them in now for this week. It's just 
big turnaround and um, Fred again can command such a thing. And last but not least, Mini Ripperton. Um, this is Come To My Garden. A great, great album from Mini Ripperton. We, we've had this before in the shop, of course, and they just sell out so quickly. And um, it's great to see a you know, proper reissue finally. Hopefully it sticks around, but um, I've, I've got my doubts. You know, very popular albums such as this. They don't stick around. Uh, this isn't all the new releases. We have a specially created 12 inch uh, section, which uh, Jess has been going through. This is uh, Tropical Disco Records, volume 27, but her little label here says, Massive World Inspired Jazz Infused Disco. So if that uh, tickles you, make sure you grab it like a few more. We've got uh, Mo Black Sampler, Deep Emotive, Richly Textured, Afro Infused House Cuts. Look at that. This one's really cool, honestly. I've listened to this one and um, I know Jess has taken one of these herself. She, she's not here to attest to it, but um, she did in fact take one home, or she is taking one home on Friday. Uh, another one there, another one there, a few, few copies of that. And we have sold a load of those in the shop already um, on pre-order. Um, Luxury Volume 6. This one is, it may be Volume 6, but all of them have been killer and um, just really in demand items. Uh, Disco From Another Dimension all killer edits. But yeah, uh, great stuff. Good to see some original new 12 inch singles in the shop for new release Friday, which is really exciting. Um, usually it's just all LPs. But they're all the new releases for this Friday. Um, really excited about Fred again myself. Really excited about the um, kind of Sambury psychedelic bossa nova stuff. Um, and on top of all that, we have got the new restocks. Uh, focusing on hip hop a bit more, you know. Been in a bit of a hip hop mood myself, and I saw the hip hop section was a bit lacking. It was a bit selling out, you know, a lot of it was selling out. So we needed to restock them with some killer things. First off, we've got All Eyes on Me 2 pack. I can't, I don't think I've ever seen this on vinyl before, and just. You know, what an album, seriously, like one of the absolute classics of um, the genre. Uh, I've been listening to it all week uh, in kind of anticipation for it to sell. Bit of a pricey one, but it is 4 LV, so it's pretty good box that like kind of treatment for it. Um, I think the originals are something like three, 400 quid, so if you do want it, it's a good price for, you know, a classic two pack record. Uh, some more hip hop I'll show first. We've got Tyler the Creator. We also have Flower Boy um, in the back somewhere, which is coming out soon. Uh, this is Call Me If You Get Lost. I actually picked this up last week, and um, it's an excellent album. You know, great stuff. Very kind of jazzy, that's why I picked it up, kind of jazzy hip hop. Um, but I'm very tempted by this one as well, Igor. This is like his more romantic stuff, and um, I just love his romantic edge to a lot of this stuff. A lot of Tyler's stuff was very edgy in the um, earliest stuff he did but he kind of matured as an artist. I love his kind of romantic edge, you know, and I love this album, it's great. Really tempted to take it home myself, so swipe it before I do, you know. Um, we've got any more hip hop in here? We've got the all time modern classic, Kendrick Lamar, uh, To Pimp a Butterfly back in stock. Got this on myself, of course, excellent stuff. Um, kind of hip hop, I guess he is hip hop, Lil Kana. Uh, tomorrow's Gone. Uh, again, I was listening to this on a rainy kind of Monday morning this week and it's just such a beautiful album, honestly. Like, I, I really underrated how significant this album is and how it was pressed on a picture disc. Um, the regular album's still in stock. Look at the album cover as well. It kind of reminds me of Sgt. Pepper in a way. Um, but yeah, all his family and friends there. Love to see it. Again, one I'm kind of tempted by, honestly. Really great album. Um, and loads more hip hop otherwise, you know, like you gotta see the main list or come in the shop and check them out. But um, we do have some more great restocks as well. I'll kind of shoot through some of these. Um, this week, as many of you will know, it is Eurovision week. It is in Liverpool. Uh, I will be going to Eurovision. Uh, I've got my special guest pass from Tasty Records. No, no, I just, I'm just gonna go and check out the vibe and stuff, but... Um, we do have a few Eurovision tracks coming in. On Friday, we are anticipating delivery. 
we are getting the Eurovision 2023 uh, 3LP set uh, with all the kind of acts from this year on it, which is a really cool collectible, great thing to have. And we've already been selling them at pre-orders. Don't have it with me right now, but it will be coming in the shop. Otherwise, we do have main skin, mana skin, man skin, or as the, the sheet said, M knee skin because it didn't recognise the little AM umlaut thing. Uh, Eurovision winners, not last year, the year before. Last year was uh, Sam Ryder. We do have Sam Ryder in the shop as well, um, somewhere in the back there, but we do have Sam Ryder's album. It's all in space, man, something like that. Anyway, uh, this is a great kind of album. We did do our research on man's skin and um, found this was the best album to get in the shop. So just in time for Eurovision, if you want to get the the thing to get, you know, ultimately, or the winners from 1972 or 1971, um, who knows? Abba Gold with Waterloo. Uh, is Waterloo on here? Yeah. Is Waller on here? Yeah, it is, the last track on the album. Um, that was their Eurovision track. They did win it. They did win it. And um, they, they must be the most successful kind of Eurovision act ever. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just noticing the camera as well, that the Abba logo is like, it's kind of like, you know, if it was a police car, it'd have that on the back because it's like symmetrical. You know what I mean? Am I making sense? Probably. Anyway, Abba Gold. If you want an ABBA compilation, this is one to have. Um, great stuff. Got some more indie stuff coming in the shop. Uh, some like pop stuff, actually, I'll say. Um, we have Heim, Days Are Gone. This is one which was out of press for a while and the prices were creeping up in value. Uh, but it's back in stock. Really great to see a sealed copy of this on the shop floor. Great stuff. Um, great pop act time, if you don't know them. Give them a check out. Uh, saw them on Glastonbury last year on the TV. Glastonbury's coming up as well, yeah. Some Tay Tay back in. Uh, this is just a small selection of the Taylor Swift we've got back in. We pretty much ordered everything we could from the supplier. So if you come in the shop now and look at our Taylor Swift section, that is the list of what's in stock at the moment um, with suppliers. So we've got 1989, we've got Folklore to show off to you. Uh, 989, probably the one which secured her on the top most of the popper most and folklore her kind of breakthrough into her own kind of um you know taylor's version and all that like you know uh fucks i mean um screw screw abroad you know sense of that one anyway um the orb the orbs adventures beyond the ultra world really excited for this one to come back in stock because it really is a classic album from the orb um fluffy little clouds are on here or little fluffy clouds and um, yeah, great album, you know, really happy to have it back in. Down tempo, again, kind of like uh, techno -y vibes on here, but yeah, really happy to have it in. Uh, tempted by myself, actually. And last, but certainly not least, a little collection of the pre-loved, which is going out into the shop. Plenty more where this came from, not a conclusive list by all means, by any means, uh, but just some stuff which caught my eye, you know, and. Um, Really cool. Look at this one. Uh, the Wonderful World of Disney. Now, as far as these Reader's Digest box sets go, once in a blue... Most of them aren't worth anything. But once in a blue moon there comes... I remember there was an ABBA one which we got in, like a massive 5LP ABBA best of. And this is a 6LP mega box. Loads of great stuff on here. Disney favourites, Dreams Come True, Adventureland, Mickey Mouse and Friends... If you have a, you know, a kid or a kid at heart in your house, this box says for them, you know, you'll, you'll, pff, six LPs for 30 quid. Can you imagine if this was brand new? It would just, it'd be hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. And, you know, the mouse doesn't pass up an opportunity to make some extra money. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's a great box set. Uh, we do have this blue blue uh, reggae party time. This is kind of a really great kind of pop covers reggae uh, compilation. And I, oh, it's not a compilation, it's the Blue Blue is an act who are kind of doing all these stuff. So Superstition's on here, uh, Satisfaction. Um, I can't, oh, I can't get no Satisfaction. 
um, some great stuff on her, you know, and it's, it's a great vibe all the way through, but it definitely caught my eye because it's a cheap but high quality item. Really nice. Uh, we have another high quality item. We've got the Smith's Hatful Apollo, first UK press. Um, these sell just so quickly in the shop. You know, people come in on Saturdays just to peruse our Smith stuff, Manchester record shop. And um, yeah, great thing to have. Make sure you grab it before anyone else does. Another Manchester thing, uh, we've got New Order Ceremony 12 inch single. Bit of a wavy thing going on here. Uh, on the sleeve, but we've done it quite cheap as a result. Um, disc plays absolutely fine, plays well, plays excellent. And um, yeah, if you need to complete that new order 12 inch collection, the first one they did, yeah, the first single. This is um, Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. Just a standard reissue, you know, UK re, 20 quid on this. What else, what else do you have to say, you know, if you don't have this classic arm of Pink Floyd, Got to get an original copy, you know. Great stuff. Um, and last but certainly not least, and certainly not representational of everything we've got, because we've got plenty more to where this comes from or where this came from. Uh, this is the Temptation Sing Smokey. Uh, this is a 1965 UK mono soul album with the flip back sleeves and everything. Really nice item. Got loads of this kind of um, old 60s soul coming into the shop recently. And it's. Um, they're great stuff, honestly. Um, really looking forward to playing it all weekend long. A few marks in the sleeve, a few marks in the disc, but, you know, really good quality um, music. Plays fine as well. A lot of these records are very, very versatile. Um, and, yeah, great stuff. Uh, plenty more, though. Uh, that's all I've got time for today. Uh, make sure you sign up for the mailing list. Check the website. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And next week, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going over, is it in frame? Just there? There's a secret, a secret thing here which I'm going to be covering in another unboxing video for the YouTube channel. Because, you know, they did well, that Pink Floyd album, yeah, that Pink Floyd video did pretty well for the, the channel. So let's see if we can catch lightning twice with this very cool box set just here. Um, but other than that, goodbye for now. See you in the shop over the weekend, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.